In a boost to India's moon mission, Chandrayaan-3 successfully underwent EMI, EMC at UR uh, Rao Satellite Center, Bengaluru. The test was conducted between January 31st and February 2nd, the Indian Space Research Organization announced. The EMI, EMC test is conducted for satellite missions to ensure the functionality of the satellite subsystems in the space environment and the compatibility with the expected electromagnetic levels. Now, this test is a major milestone in the realization of the satellites, ISRO said in a statement. Chandrayaan-3 interplanetary mission has three major modules the propulsion module, the lander module and the rover. The mission's complexity calls for establishing radio frequency communication links between the modules, ISRO said. During the EMI-EMC test, launcher compatibility antenna polarization of all RF systems, standalone auto compatibility tests for orbital and powered descent mission phases and lander and rover compatibility tests for the post-landing mission phase were ensured. Group Captain V.N. Jha, defense expert, is uh, joining us. Group Captain Jha, uh, how uh, successfully were these uh, uh, tests and uh, how important are they in uh, the eventual liftoff of Chandrayaan-3, which we're hoping will happen later this year? Very much there. Uh, as you have already uh, you know, uh, stated the various issues involved. Now, Chandrayaan-3 <coughs> is carrying two important modules. One is a lander, another is a rover. And there has to be a very strong communication between the rover and the lander, as well as lander with the orbiting module that is already there uh, at, at the moons. It is orbiting on the polar polar orbit uh, for uh, since the Chandrayaan 2 was uh, uh, introduced, inserted in that orbit. So very important communication modules, communication circuits are on board in this Chandrayaan 3. As you may be aware, that whenever any uh, such uh, sensitive electronic co components are being launched into the space, it traverses through the atmosphere where there are many charged bodies, clouds, uh, charged particles. In the space itself, there is a worn Ellen belt in which highly charged particles of the solar flares of the galactic radiations, they are there. And while passing through these charged particles, the electromagnetic uh, induction can be caused, uh, can, can actually damage those circuits into those uh, uh, payload what the, the rocket will be carrying. So it is mandatory that whenever we are uh, taking any particular such payloads, we test it for the EMI and EMC, electromagnetic interference and the compatibility. Because while passing through those charges, you know, there's a motion against the charge, against the electrical charges, and the strong electromagnetic conduction is being uh, created within within the surface of those modules that can actually pulverize the electronic circuits, highest of the electronic circuits. So even in the LCA, even in other aircraft, the space modules, the as you mentioned, the satellites, when it traverses through that EMI, EMC uh, testing, is absolutely mandatory to ensure that when that particular payload passes through the atmosphere and in the in the space in those bond allen charged particle belts, no particular damage is being caused. So it's a very significant mill testing that we call it, in which a charge uh, bodies are being created in and around the the circuit to ensure that no significant induction is being caused and what were little bit of significant the induction is being caused that is within the acceptable limits of the equipment that it is carrying so it's a very important test uh, emi emc for the Chandrayaan model to uh, be done and of course one of the feathers in isro's cap isro has been in this particular game you know as many satellites are being sent all of them are uh, being tested for the EMIC, uh, EMI EMC uh, compatibility. So it is a test that has gone positive, and I compliment ISRO for this particular design. Uday. All right, uh, let me, uh, in fact, also ask you then, uh, Group Captain Jha, about uh, you know the this year so far for ISRO. You know, how is it uh, really panned out, and what are your expect uh, expectations for the rest of the year? Well. Gaganyan is uh, a bit delayed, and, and as many of the steps are going on for the uh, certifications of the human rating of of the uh, the launcher of the crew module, so all these are going on, and it is going on well on uh, on schedule. 
though the project is delayed, but these test these trials are absolute mandatory for the Chandrayaan. This particular year, uh, I think ISRO has planned it for significantly greater achievement compared to the last few years. They have already in plan uh, uh, the, the Chandrayaan uh, testing of a few more systems in the next uh, uncrewed model. The, the, the crew model, which will carry the, uh, the astronauts, will also have to be tested for the entire life support system that it has. Uh, so, so that has to be done. And then, obviously, the Chandrayaan, the human mission will happen. There are more and more of the satellites that have to be placed. Uh, uh, you are aware, your, your viewers are aware that SpaceX is uh, uh, injecting lot many hundreds and hundreds of the satellites in their uh, the, the entire uh, uh, net that they are creating in the in the uh, uh, space. So there is a competition, and India is also on its way. ISRO has been leading the entire thing, and best of all are the private players. They have come up a long way. Now they have got a launcher which can uh, inject. Uh, various satellites up to 100 kg into the uh, orbits. Then we they are making the satellites uh, which have got various capabilities. So all these things are going on, and we are looking forward to uh, many of the greater achievements right. of ISRO, India, and in general. For that. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.